Hey guys, so I'm here with Alex Riley. He's actually the one who wrote me my first mortgage where I started out. It's crazy to think about looking back at uh, Ewing where I started. <laughs> and so I, uh, I ended up buying this place. I think I bought it in, uh, in 2019. Uh, bought it, lived here. I was actually here for two years. Ended up moving on to, uh, to my shore house after. So Alex helped me out with the entire process. I think this was probably one of the best moves in my entire life. I ended up holding this place as a, uh, as a rental property. I didn't end up selling it to buy my next house. Uh, the best advice that I could ever give to somebody. You know, buy something primary, live in it, and when you move on to your next place, you hold that, you end up renting that house moving forward. The best advice that I could possibly give. If I didn't have this house, this would not have allowed me to jump into my beach house, which, uh, which ended up turning into an Airbnb after I lived in that place for a period of time, uh, which is nice. And I actually went back to, uh, to Alex uh, through COVID. I actually refied into a 15-year note. Uh, I think uh, my mortgage tax and insurance on this place come in somewhere around the range of like $2,000, $2,100 when rates were like next to nothing. Alex reached out to me, he's like, dude, now is the time to get your refi. So I uh, refinance it. Right now I got the place rented for $4,200 a month. It gives me about $2,000 on a monthly basis. I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of money that, that you can play around with. So many people are so focused on just hitting a home run with every single deal, when at the end of the day, it's about getting into the market, not trying to time it. So I just want to introduce you to Alex. Thank you, John, you did a great job. John started, started this house. He's done many houses after that. Yes. <laughs> and, and that's the way to do it. We get in, you get into your first house. It's like an escalator. You get on the escalator and you can only go up, especially in this area. Houses appreciate in this area. You know, rates go up and down. You know, right now rates are up a little bit, they'll be coming down, and it's fine. Get into the house, we call it marry the house. Find the house you like, date the rate. The rate is temporary. Rates come back down in a year or two, we can refinance like we did with John, save some money, and then the best part is you move on. You save this house as a rental, just like John did, it's a great way to start investing. Yeah, you know what the funniest part about this house is? Is when I found this, it was actually a high price for the area. Five bedroom houses in this area were going somewhere in the range of like 230 to 240. I ended up buying this house for 275. I went to, uh, originally I was going to buy this as a rental, but I needed a place to live. So I went to my partners. I said, hey, this is an absolute home run. Let's jump on it. They thought I was crazy at what I wanted to buy this house for. I ended up buying it for 275. And I ended up living here. Like I ended up enjoying the house, met all the neighbors, the neighbors were incredible. But ultimately at the end of the day, I knew whenever I did move on to my next house, I'd keep this as a rental. And this has proven to be the best investment that I've ever made. And now I know for a fact that my partners are jealous of me. <laughs> so if anybody has any questions, just shoot us a DM. I'll give you Alex's info. He's more than happy to touch base with you and explain any mortgage questions you might have.